So Dustin Poirier versus Benoit Saint-Denis takes place this weekend as the co-main event of UFC 29. And I firmly believe that this fight all comes down to how Benoit Saint-Denis approaches it. If BSD goes out there like a madman and he tries to KO Dustin Poirier in the first round, I think he probably loses. But if he's smart and he's tactical, then I believe he can go out there and get the job done versus Dustin Poirier. And it really just comes down to that. If BSD goes out there and he tries to brawl with Dustin Poirier, I think he gets finished. If he approaches this fight like how he did against Matt Frivola or like how he did against Thiago Moises, I think he gets stopped by Poirier relatively later in like the fourth, third round, even that. I think going out there and trying to brawl with Dustin Poirier would be the worst game plan decision for BSD to win this fight. I think he genuinely has to grapple to get this one done and if he doesn't he loses we know that dustin poirier's takedown defense isn't crazy out of this world you can get takedowns on dustin poirier his guard is very very high and he keeps his hands up quite a lot and if you can shoot athletic double legs you can get in on dustin poirier's hips and i think bsd is athletic enough to get those athletic takedowns on poirier but will he go for him will that be a part of his game plan I just simply don't know. I think he will pressure back Dustin Poirier and get his guard up high, and the takedowns will be there for him. Poirier has stiff hips. We call him stiff hips Poirier for a reason. I don't think his body or his anatomy is really well suited to stuff takedowns, as well as his just overall style to stuff takedowns. Poirier, again, keeps his guard very, very high, so if you pressure him back and you give him a threat with the hands to the head, he keeps his guard so high that a double leg is just kind of waiting for you. When he fought Michael Chandler, Chandler was pretty much winging hooks at his head. And then once he got his back up to the fence, Chandler went for a double leg takedown underneath of that and then picked up Dustin Poirier, slammed him on the ground and then controlled him. BSD can do the same exact thing. He has amazing body kicks. If he goes out there and fights the same way that he game planned for Ismail Bonfim, it can be successful against Dustin Poirier. His whole game plan against Bonfim was to blast amazing body kicks and then go for takedowns and he got a takedown against Bonfim and then he subbed him. So if BSD can sit back and make sure he's doing athletic takedowns and getting Poirier's guard high, I think he can take him down and I think he can control him. Poirier kind of just accepts being on bottom position. Like we don't really see any get ups from Dustin Poirier when he's on bottom. He's never going up on a single leg, getting an underhook, trying to get up to his feet. He kind of just sits there in full guard and accepts the position. When he fought Charles Oliveira, he just sat there in full guard and accepted being on bottom position. When he fought Michael Chandler, same thing. And when Poirier does try to get up, he always leaves his neck exposed for the rear naked choke. This is how Habib subbed him. This is how Charles Oliveira subbed him because when he's trying to get up or he's trying to get out of a takedown, his neck is consistently exposed and that can leave openings for BSD to get a rear naked choke. So again, if BSD can grapple, shoot takedowns, get Poirier's guard up high, he could win this fight by submission in the first, second, third round. But again, this fight can go a different way. If BSD again goes out there and he tries to brawl and try to get a first round finish over Poirier, I think Poirier's defense is way too good. I think his counter shots when he's backed up are way better than Thiago Moises and Moises was landing on BSD's chin. And if that's Poirier, I think he puts down BSD. So maybe Benoit Santini can go out there and get a first round finish over Poirier, but I give it like a 20% chance and the other 80% goes to Poirier because we have to remind ourselves this is not a three rounder. This is a five round fight. If this was three rounds, I would take BSD all damn day, but it's not three rounds, it's five rounds. And we don't know how good BSD's cardio is just yet. He's just so explosive and so aggressive in the first round. We just don't know how good his cardio is. And for all we know, BSD's five round cardio could be absolutely abysmal. He may only have three rounds of good cardio and he can't go a full five rounds at the pace he wants. And if that's the case, I think Poirier just breaks him throughout five rounds. But again, Poirier is a breakable guy, I think, at this point in his career. I think for anybody to break Poirier in a five-round fight, that time is pretty much now. Dustin Poirier is coming off a KO loss to Justin Gagey. His title aspirations are pretty much shot right now. I think the only reason Dustin Poirier is still fighting is because he wants to make more money because he's on a good contract. And the UFC probably offered him a bag to even take this fight versus BSD. And if that's the case, I think Poirier right now is more open to just giving up and breaking in his fights. When he fought Max Holloway, he was breaking in that fourth round. When he fought Dan Hooker, he was breaking in that fight as well. Like Poirier can be broken, but the only difference back then 
was the fact that he had title aspirations. When he fought Max Holloway, that was for the interim belt. When he fought Dan Hooker, he was trying to get back into the title picture. Right now, that's really not the case for Dustin Poirier. Even if he does beat BSD, he's not in title contention at all. He's just there for the money, pretty much. And I think if you put this Dustin Poirier in that second round against Dan Hooker, I think he gets finished. He was so close to getting finished by Dan Hooker, but he survived the round. And I think that Dustin Poirier is way more tough. He had way more reasons to keep fighting in that fight than this current Dustin Poirier. And if BSD is grappling him up, if he's beating up Dustin Poirier in the first three rounds, he might break at some point and just get subbed by BSD. I really only think Poirier is here to just keep getting money. And maybe he does want to get back into the title picture, but I think right now, the only reason he took this fight versus BSD was because the UFC is going to pay him more to take this fight. If Poirier wanted a good matchup to get himself back into the title picture, he would have fought a higher ranked guy. He would have fought maybe a Mateus Gamrod or something like that to get himself back into that title contention, but he's fighting number 11 ranked BSD. And originally on Twitter, he bamboozled us and somehow the fight was off. And I'm pretty sure the UFC gave him a call and was like, hey, Poirier, we'll pay you an extra you know, 500k to fight BSD. And he's like, I'm in. I just think that this Poirier at 35 years of age is just aging in his career. I think he's taking his damage. I think his style is not good to defend takedowns. I think BSD will shoot takedowns if he's smart, obviously. And I really don't believe his heart is all the way in it in terms of getting back into the title picture. But can Dustin Poirier win? Can he go out there and can he smoke BSD in the first round or any other round? I believe that, but I think if BSD is smart and he's intelligent with a good game plan, I think he can take down Dustin Poirier and win this fight. So that's what I'm going to pick. I'm going to take Benoit Saint Denis to win this fight by second round submission. I think he will take down Poirier in the first round. And I think Poirier will get a bit too nervous on bottom position, try to get back up, leave his neck exposed, and get rear naked choked in the second round by BSD. And I forgot to mention, Poirier is coming off a KO loss, out cold by the way, and that might make him a bit more gun shy fighting BSD. And if that's the case, it might just be an easier day for Benoit saint to get him to the ground and sub him. So I am officially taking Benoit saint to defeat Dustin Poirier by second round submission. Now, one thing I wanna say this real quick, I don't like Poirier, I'm not biased in this way, Poirier is one of the most awful sore winners in the sport. I was I like whenever I go on Twitter and I see the whole the whole exchanges that Poirier has after fights against like Dan Hooker. Poirier is one of the most cocky sore winners in this entire sport and it is the most arrogant and infuriating thing to see that from him. So I'm not picking BSD based on that, but I wouldn't mind seeing BSD, you know, choke him out because if Poirier does win we're going to see him in the post-fight press conference trying to be this nice guy but say these underhanded things at the same time and it's just a it's just a infuriating thing to watch Poirier do I don't know Poirier is just kind of a a dick at times and I just don't like that about him but I don't know that's the video like subscribe hit the bell icon for notifications I'm out of here peace